Hi everyone. I've got a strain review today um, and it's a balance strain. It is Cureleaf Canatonic. Um, I haven't had a balance strain for months um, and I really fancied it because I'm in a bit of a rheumatoid arthritis flare so I felt like I needed to add in a bit more CBD. Um, and the last balance strain that I had was Echiposa by Aurora and it was really good and it was a really nice relaxing anti-anxiety daytime strain for me but I couldn't quite afford the Aurora so I went for the um, Canatonic by Cure Relief um, and I was a bit wary of buying this because it's um, it's Advent Cure Relief brand um, and it's also um, grown by Terra Verde and um, all the bad weed that I've had in the on the UK medical has been from Terra Verde so far um, so I was a bit reluctant to order it but I did see some really good reviews so I thought I'd give it a go um, and it is £6.50 a gram and it's a mix of MK Ultra and G13 Haze um, and it is a one-to-one -one balance strain um, and it has got 12% THC and 8% CBD in. Um, and then the terpenes, according to Medbud Wiki, are mainly um, myrcene, alpha and beta pinene and caryophylline. Um, but Advin Stroke Cure Relief don't pay for terpene testing. So this is just pulled from Medbud Wiki, have pulled it from the internet. Um, I don't think it's entirely accurate because the one terpene that I can smell is linalool in this. Um, it smells very floral to me, so I think it's probably got some linalool in it. But unfortunately, when you vape it, there's no terpenes whatsoever. Um, it's completely dead, um, and that's after a few days with a Bavada pack. So um, vaping is definitely a joyless experience of this strain. It's definitely um, a happy shopper brand i think um it's very no frills um the medicine effects were, were really good um so it i thought it was going to be a daytime strain for me because it's only 12 percent uh, thc um but actually it's really sedating um and it actually feels a lot stronger than the 12 percent so i don't really rate this as a daytime strain for me because it it, it makes me very very um relaxed and sleepy um i thought that because it does have haze in its genetics it might be a little bit more of a daytime strain um but i'm not feeling that at all i just feel like this is a good evening strain for me um really good for body pain um and muscle relaxation um i feel like the cbd really helps with that um and it's been really good for my anxiety. I've been vaping this early evening because, um, as I said, it's too sedating for the daytime. Um, but yeah, vaping it is really, really not a nice experience, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't taste of any terpenes at all. Um, I get just a bit of an earthy vibe. I was really disappointed that the linalool didn't come through because that's one of my favourite terps for my anxiety. Um, so I don't think this is great quality at all. Um, I really don't think it's worth £6.50 a gram. I would put this on par of quality with Master Kush, um, which again is another happy shopper, no frills brand, in my opinion. Um, one that has really good sedating effects, Master Kush, but the vaping experience is pretty grim and horrible. Um, and I feel like the same with this. So. Yeah, so how I'm using this is mixing it in with another strain because I just can't bear to vape this on its own. I've been, so I've been mixing it in with some pink kush um, to just give it a bit of flavour. Um, and also I do find this makes me cough a lot. Um, it's very harsh on my throat and my lungs. Um, so yeah, mixing it in with a sort of easier to vape strain does help. So I am very reluctant to get any more Terra Verde weed because I, every single batch I've had has been really poor quality. Um, it's really hard because it is good medicine, it does work, but I do think for £6.50 a gram, I think they're shooting above their weight in terms of price um, because we have better strains that are £6 a gram now. We, um, and then Master Kush is right down on £5 a gram um, scale, so really I think this is worth £5 a gram. I, um, 
it is tricky because it, it does do the job. Um, it works, but it's just not a very nice experience to vape. I would really like to try this strain, but but grown better and in a um, much better quality. Um, so yeah, I hope, I know Aurora, I think used to do Canatonic. So hopefully a, a decent brand will bring out Canatonic and I'll definitely try it again, but I won't, I won't go back to any Terra Verde um, medical weed from Advin or Cureleaf because every single one that I've had, I've ended up not being able to vape because it was, it was too happy shopper for me. Um, so yeah, that's my review. I hope that helps. Let me know if anyone's tried Canatonic and what you think. Um, yeah, I think the one thing that I did take from it was that I was really surprised that it felt stronger than the 12% THC. Um, and um, yeah, I'd say it's like a, it's a bit like Master Kush, but slightly, slightly less strong because obviously Master Kush is a lot stronger in THC. But anyway, I hope that helps and yeah, talk soon. Bye.